Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dylan. So people have been saying that I look tired during my videos. So look, it's daylight outside. You know, the sun is shining. It's just, it's going on my face. All right. And I'm wearing a collared shirt. Okay. A button down shirt. So you can't say that anymore. All right. Although my eyes may look like they want to die. Today I wanted to talk about something that I think that a lot of you are here for. You want to hear about my story. Who wants to hear about your story? No one cares. But today I'm going to talk about that anyway because I realized that a lot of you know me because of Fine Bros and because of React and you know I don't really talk about that. I don't go up to people and say, hey, what's up? My name is Dylan. I am from react no i don't do that that's just wrong and people i guess think that i do like I, I just that's the introduction that i use but should i but should i do that that is the next question that i have for myself that's something that i've started to think about because all throughout my life i've thought you know I should make something out of myself. Like, for example, in the beginning of high school, I was really into basketball. Like, I really wanted to get on the basketball team because I was thinking, you know what? I'm gonna be that basketball guy, all right? Yeah, I got hops. I got, I got some bunnies, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch the rim, okay? You know, that's what people are gonna know me for. But as I went through high school, I realized, like, I just liked acting. And, like, that's why I got into theater. And um, I also like doing leadership stuff. And that's why... I created things and made things happen and like was involved in Asian American politics and all those different things. But then what people um, know me for, what people see me and they think, huh, is that my cousin? Is that like my ex-brother? Like, is that, is, who is that? All right. And they, they see me and they think, oh, wait a second. That's the kid from React, and that's what people know me for, and I've had to accept that. I've come to accept that that is why people know me, that is um, why people recognize me. One time I was playing basketball, and someone came up to me and was like, yo, you're from React, right? And I was like, whoa, people still recognize me. So I just think that's crazy, and I I'm honestly like so grateful and blessed for that. But yeah, I've always had this struggle, I think, with like trying to break away from that like i remember in high school people would say like oh you're known for react like this was really early in high school you're known for react and everything you're known for, for like reacting to videos and stuff but like you don't do too much it became personal with me so then i just started doing a lot of stuff in high school like i just really started to run away from that idea that i was just a reactor and I think this also ties in with like me trying to uh, discover new things and think about what I really wanted to do because I actually started doing React because I uh, was on this acting website and they found me and I got into it and everything. But I realized like over time, like I've started to grow away from acting and I started to think of it less as a career path that I should choose. And there's always these pressures like my um, not actually no my mom never told me that I shouldn't do acting like that's only been something that other people have um, like my mom has supported me for anything that I do which I am super, like amazingly grateful for but acting has been something that people have said you know you're gonna be waiting tables all day you're gonna have to be doing this you're gonna have to be doing that how can you be an actor today and uh, you're not gonna make any money you're you're just gonna be like that other starving artist and everything and I've really had to like toy with that idea because um, at UCLA, for example, right? I'm an econ major. I'm not an acting major. I'm not like, uh, I'm not really pursuing acting right now, you know? And I think one like critical moment in my life that made me like divert from acting and I guess divert from like trying to be uh, social, well, not, not social, but like be in the public eye, be in like that public media space is because um is because this is one time i don't i think i can tell you all about this but one time i was um given this role or i don't know if i was given this role but like i was called out for this role and i had like a high probability of getting it and it was for uh fresh off the boat and i decided not to take it i decided not to take this role and because it was two weeks 
of 8th grade that I thought, you know, two weeks of 8th grade, that is gonna be a lot, alright? My whole high school depends on it, but really it didn't, um, but I just thought, wow, I, I, I am not gonna go to that role you know, I'm not going to do that because I have priorities, you know, I want to go to school. I, I mean, I'm super grateful for what I did in high school. I'm like grateful that I like chose the path that I did. And I don't regret too much. The only thing that I kind of regret is not pursuing acting more in high school. Um, I've had this like th thoughts, I have like these thoughts about who I am as a person like throughout, I guess, high school and like a lot, a lot of this culminated in um during college apps when we were thinking about all right uh what's the identity that i want to show to these people what's the story that i want to show all these college people and, and make them accept me and i actually wrote my college app uh, at least for the common app on like the dual life that i had as a reactor by day and as a you know a student as an asian american student just trying to get into college he's trying to like make his quote-unquote mark so that was just like the main identity that I was trying to really think about but yeah that's just been something um, I've been really thinking about like who am I you know as a person who am I as like this public persona who am I as an individual because there's obviously gonna be obviously Frick, am I? I'm becoming English. That that is what's happening. Um, but there's like this difference, you know, between who you say you are on the outside and who you are internally, or who you perceive yourself to be. Um, that's just a little bit more about me. And yeah, well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave a like, hit a subscribe, hit one subscribe button, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.